Hello and welcome to a brand new Minecraft video. In this video we're going to be going over every single new block and item that have been added into Minecraft 1.16. We're in the snapshot 20w21a and uh, first, uh, first off guys I wanted to show you that now grass and farmland block are now registered as being actual blocks rather than just a variant of dirt. Now, I'm going to jump straight into this because there's a lot to cover. But first off, I'm going to talk about quartz. Now, quartz is a brand new sound. It's less of the, the blocky sound that we have with uh, netherrack and magma and all the other bricks in Minecraft. It's a sort of like a weird squidge sound. Um, and quartz also has a ton of... Oh, not a ton. <laughs> it's like one or two new variants. I, this uh, quartz chiseled quartz block uh looks a little bit different to me so i feel like it's new but we also have a quartz bricks block which has this cool texture so you got, you can panel this how you'd like in it fits together seamlessly so i really like that block um the rest of the quartz blocks are all same old you've got the smooth quartz so it blends into each other rather than having the barrier or the um the line like with normal quartz and um a new block that we have is this nether gold ore this is a really weird ore because it drops it's got the same weird texture as cord and it's weird because it it <laughs> it drops golden nuggets when you when you break it in a similar fashion to redstone it drops a few pretty strange oh that was a good squish <laughs> you can hear that netherrack also has a brand new updated texture whereas magma just sounds the same but netherrack sounds really really strange i like it though it's a great it's a great new sound next up we have the new wood variant so these are called the crimson and the warp uh instead of being called logs they're called stems uh which which sounds pretty cool and then you have of course the stripped variants of each of the logs now with these unstripped variants the normal stems they actually have this dynamic texture if you watch very closely you can see that it's kind of moving it looks sort of alive you can see these pulses and it's the same with the warp stem you can see these weird pulses which is very strange but with the oh that's the wrong way around with the stripped versions there's no there's no texture uh, or texture shifts then you have the bark blocks or in this case the hyphae block which is they actually look really cool to be fair um they still connect to one another they still blend into each other if you connect them uh, but god they yeah they're very strange looking blocks but they're really good. uh next you have the stripped high face so it's the same as the other strip uh but with they're called high fay they yeah they look it's the same bit strange um but i'm sure that there are lots of ways that you can actually use these in builds just like with the other strip logs here we have the two different dirt variants for um, nether rack. They're not called dirt, they're called nylons. And they, but they sound like them. And they have these, this weird... It's kind of like a weird echoey hollow sound for the walking on them. They're, yeah, they're really strange. But I like them. I like them. But you don't mind this. Well, you don't mind these with a shovel. You actually mine them with a pickaxe, just like normal netherrack. Here we have soul sand. Normal soul sand. It's the same old, but it has this. It now has this cool sound to it. So when you place it down, you hear a uh, sort of like a ghostly sound, uh, which is really cool. And it's the same with the soul soil. It's a little bit more faint, but you can still hear. A ghostly sound. Now, the dorsal's really cool, as it's to say you don't get slowed at all, like with soul sand, you're a little bit slowed down. But what's really cool if you use a flint and steel on top of soul soil, and actually, fire has a hitbox now, which is pretty cool. Um, but if you use a flint and steel on soul soil, it'll produce this cool blue flame, which is really nice. And the same with soul sand. Same with soul sand, but it's really cool. I like how fire has a hitbox now, so you're not going to break the block it's on. Next, we have basalt and polished basalt. They're quite cool looking blocks on the, the top texture. They 
he sound like um gravel in a way. Like a more solid gravel. But from the side texture, it looks like it could be a wood block. Um, but from the top texture, it's a, more of a cobble. Uh, and with the pod polished br basalt, it looks quite like a log. It looks like a, a stripped log or something. With the top texture as well, looking like it could be a tree. So this is the sort of texture that you could be using for a um, sort of like a dead island. A dead island sort of build with this, uh, with this texture. Next, we're on to the nether bricks. Now, there, are, there aren't really any changes to nether bricks apart from a couple new textures. So we have the cracked nether bricks and the chiseled nether bricks. And as you can see with the chisel, there's a skeleton's face texture onto the side of it. And the crack, is just it's just got cracks in it. There you have the normal nether brick wall. It's the same old. We also have the red nether bricks, which I think I, I really like. I really like these red nether bricks. They're really cool. They fit in really well. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention just there, they all have a new texture. More of a, sort of like a, um, how you'd imagine a shiny brick. Really nice texture to be fair. So if you if you wanted to use these ne red nether bricks as a, as a floor, it, you could have some really cool, really cool sounds in your, uh, in your base. Next we're on to the warp block. Uh, so we've got warped wart and nether warp block. Now these are both used for the different trees. So the new trees that are down there. These, I don't actually know what you're meant to mine these with because in my uh, survival series that I'm doing, I try a pickaxe, a shovel, an axe, and none of them seemed to do the job. So I don't actually know what the main, the, pro, the correct tool for this is. But I, I guess, I guess it's something to be found out. But They sound like a uh, weird dirt variant, which is strange. Next, we're on to some of the coolest blocks in the game. Here we have the ancient debris, and this is where you're going to be getting your netherite from. It's got this weird, cool tree-looking texture. It kind of looks a bit like um, like some sort of palm tree in a way. You've got the cool uh, texture for a tree on top of it, and then you have these... Uh, what looks like big plates of bark coming and overlapping one another, which I think looks really, really cool. Next, we have netherite. Oh, it sounds kind of like a, a bit like dirt or stone when you're walking on it. Next, we have netherite, which has one of the coolest sounds in the whole game. Proper, proper iron sounding. If you jump on it, that's you can tell that that's a metal, straight up. That's really cool. Next is a block that I didn't realize we had in the game. And I don't actually know how you get it. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of experimenting when the full update 1.16 comes out. And this is Crying Obsidian. It's really cool. It sounds like a normal block. And you can tell it's obsidian, but it has this cool animation coming out of the size of it. This purple dripping out. And then you have these, these purple lines inside it. It kind of looks like it's alive in a way. It's really strange. I like it. I really like this block. I'm sure there are a lot of uses that could be done in aesthetic builds with this block. Next, we have blackstone. And blackstone is a block that I really like. Again, the same as the basalt. On the top, you have this cool cobble texture. But on the side, it's more of a, uh, a woody flowing texture. And then we have a block here that is called lodestone and it has these this really strange sounding sound when you place it down i don't know if you guys can hear that but it sounds like this it sounds like a little flicking of like a ball or something that's that's inside of inside of the block when you place it i really like this block it's strange it's really like, i'm saying a lot of these blocks are strange but they 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 are strange but they're all really cool in their own way now this is the guild gilded. I don't, I don't really know how to pronounce this one. Gilded blackstone, and it's this really cool looking uh, blackstone, the same as the same as this one. But it's got these gold textures in it. These weird little gold pickaxes, weird gold pickaxe heads in it. I really like this texture, and it sounds kind of like squishy metal. If that was such a thing. 
Next we have the normal black stone. You got the slab, the wall, the stairs, and a button. So just like with normal stone, you have all the different variants. You have polished black stone with all the different variants again, and then you have uh, you have a chiseled polished black stone here, which I really like, and then you have the polished black stone. All of these. Blocks. I'm guessing that you use the stone cutter for, but I'm not totally sure on it just yet. Here you have some of the different blocks that go with the different biomes. So you have the warped nylium and you have the crimson nylium. And then with the crimson, you have these fungi, these uh, crimson funguses. And then you have some crimson roots and you have some weeping vines. Now, weeping vines can't be placed on the floor because they're vines, they, they fall down. And I like these shifts and hitboxes, that's pretty cool. How the bottom block has a smaller hitbox than the top. Then, if you come over to the warped area, you have the warped fungus, the nether sprouts, the warped roots and the twisting vines and the twisting vines are placed on the floor and grow upwards then if you if you look up we actually have the shroom lights up above which are a new light block but i'm going to cover them more further down the line uh out of out of the rent distance <laughs> um here we have the different wood variants so these are the crib, crimson planks so you have them in all the different variants you got the pressure plates trap doors the doors all sorts of the put these things fence gates and then you have the signs which are really cool of course in one of the latest updates uh with the signs the actual little sticks that the signs are suspended on are what the actual logs look like then you have the same with the warped um these door variants are really cool i like the i really like these uh warped doors they're really fancy uh the crimson doors are oh the crimson doors are a little bit more minimal but I really, I really like these warped doors. I feel like that could be the entrance to some grand witch's house or something. Same situation with the sign and the stick. It being the same as the log. As I was going through the player inventory, I also found this warped fungus on a stick. And I'm guessing that this is being used to lure um, the hoglings or, or something like that just as you would do with a pig i'm considered out but uh i'm planning on doing a future video covering 1.16 mechanics and we can test it out in that one there's also a brand new music disc so th this song is really strange it's a really strange song but i'll play it to you guys briefly There you go. That's uh, that's enough. <laughs> I feel like uh, if if you well, if you guys want to try that out yourself, um, it's really easy to enable snapshots on your Minecraft Java launcher, so you can test this all this stuff out yourself. Now we're back to Netherite. We're going to cover some Netherite stuff here. So this is the block of Netherite that we looked at earlier. It's got the cool sound. This is the ancient debris where you get your Netherite shards, uh, Netherite scraps from. And then you use your scraps to craft the actual netherite ingots. Now, I d I'm pretty sure that you use the anvil to combine your diamond stuff with nether netherite ingots, and that creates netherite armor. Then I found this really cool block called the respawn anchor, and I have zero clue what this block is going to be used for in survival minecraft, or how you obtain it in survival minecraft. But it looks really cool. It, it kind of looks like this weird void. It feels like it should be a cauldron or something that I can actually, you know, you can get your character in, character into, but it's not. So I'm going to be interested to find out what you could be using this block for in the future. Anyway, this is the main event. This is probably the one of the things that people are most excited for with the new update. This is the new armor. So this is the netherite armor. If I take it off the armor stand and put it on my put it on my skin, this is what you're going to be looking like. This this is some pretty cool armor to be fair. Instead of the the traditional armor, you have these little loops that come down on the on the arms. You've got something that covers more of your face. So you've got the bit in the middle and then the bits that come down on the side. I really like this armor. And of course, it's going to be much better than the diamond armor. Now we have the different tools, which there are actually achievements for. I think this is achievement for getting a netherite hoe, uh, purely because who who wants a netherite hoe? Like it's going to be a hoe that lasts forever. You you don't really hoe too much, 
landed it. But if I pick up these things and show them to you in my hand, oh, well, first we can have a look on the, at them on the armor stands a little bit closer. You can see that there is this purple tint to the outside side of each of these uh, tools. And then the sticks or the stems that they're on have this cool purpley pinky brown texture apart from the middle bit where the hand would be it's more gray i really like these but when you're holding them you don't really see too much of a difference so i might have to edit this in my my own custom texture pack uh to make them look a little bit more special because they just look a little bit like fancy stone swords in a way but or, again great addition if i pick up the sword actually we can see how much attack damage this does this does eight attack damage if i pick up a, a diamond sword so it's one step higher one attack damage uh higher next we have a brand new potion this is the potion of luck i didn't it, it may it might it might have been in the game it might have been in the game before but I, i've never seen anyone talk about this before and i've got no clue what the potion of duck luck does but it gives you a four leaf clover in the top right of your screen and <laughs> it gives you this green particle effect that makes it look like your uh makes it look like you're poisoned for some reason next up we have the shroom light which has this cool sound to it it sounds like this hollow room in a way now this is this is uh pretty easily obtainable it hides in the top of trees in the nether and myself, it kind of looks a bit like a pumpkin, if you get me. Like a less vibrant orange pumpkin, in a way. Next up, we have some of the soul lighting blocks. So we have the soul torch, which has this blue glow, which is getting closer to us. Which is getting close to us having a blue stone in the game, because of course, of course we have redstone at the moment, but a lot of people have been requesting we have blue stone, and then we could run bluestone track next to redstone tracks and they don't interfere which would be super useful of course we have the soul lanterns as well which look really cool these these blue variations of the normal lantern if i if i grab that so if you're if you're making some sort of like the real real land then you can variate them with these uh these different types of lanterns we also have chains added up. Of course, if you place a lantern on your ceiling, it's just going to be stuck to that single block that's on the roof. But now we have chains, so you can vary how high or how low you want your hands and lanterns hanging, which is really cool. So you can, if I was to extend this out, you can have this extending all the way down if you wanted. Um, these don't connect sideways. They'll be hanging freely, which is really cool. So you can have them hanging uh, a different length like so so you can see that these lanterns are actually hanging at different lengths <laughs> even though they're right next to each other there we go this is a really cool update we also have the soul campfire which has this cool blue glow you can see some blue lights around here i'm actually unsure on how you obtain all of these different blocks but i'm sure i'm sure we pretty pretty clear once the uh once the update does come out. Next we have all of the different mobs. One mob which I really like is this Strider. Now, if these guys will turn purple and start shaking if they're not inside lava. But as soon as they get into lava, they go red and they stop shaking. Because I guess that they're... I guess they go purple because they're, you know, they're cold. And then they get back in lava to warm them up. Now, I've had to separate all these mobs out because um, if you get any zombified mobs uh, like the Zoglin or the Zombify Piglin next to each other, then they will actually turn each other into the zombified versions. So I'm going to start with these Hoglings and I'm going to place it down in here. Oh, <laughs> sorry, man. I don't know why this guy is shaking. Um, maybe, maybe these guys turn them into, uh, zombified versions as well. Um, but these are the guys who attacked me in my survival. Yeah, they do. So they do get turned. Um, yeah, if you, if you keep them close together with other mobs, then they will turn into their zombified versions. Um, which is always something to keep in mind. Next is the piglin. This guy's going to start shaking as well. Uh, if I put this there. There we go. This is also one of the guys who chased 
me. So instead of this guy, instead of zombie pigmen being called zombie pigmen, they're being called zombified piglins now to align with the normal piglin. There we go. So that's a zombified piglin. Um, this guy here. As you can see, there are these uh, weakness effects. So I'm sure that in uh, normal survival, there will be a way to change these guys back, just like with zombie villagers and normal villagers. But they have this cool ear now. It's a brand new texture. It flaps when they walk. It's, it's pretty cool. Next up is the Zoglen. I'm going to place him down here. And this is just the same as this other guy that has been spawned. So these are all the new mobs. And now we've reached the end. This is the uh, the last little thing to talk about. So with the soul soil, it, it, you can run around. It's like normal ground. But of course, with soul sand, it slows you down. You can't really run on it because it slows you down. But now there is this new enchantment. And that is called soul speed. Of course, in line with the soul sand and soul soil. What you can do is you can combine this with your different armors. And then if you put on your soul speed boots, you can run across super quickly. Oh, and there's a cool particle effect. These little soul faces that come up. Now, I believe that this actually uses up the durability of your boots. So if, you, if I go into slash game mode survival and I run around between these two blocks you should start to see a decrease in the durability so that's four seven eight uh to four eight one which is which is pretty cool actually it, it's a cool little new dy dynamic that they've added into the game that uh makes traversing the world a little bit more risky but if you put mending on mending on these things i'm sure you can get that durability back up in no time it's funny how as soon as you leave it, it doesn't propel you at all. If you're if you're doing parkour, as soon as you jump, it stops the stops the effect. So that's actually a pretty nifty nifty dynamic. One thing I want to see is: do these guys kill you if you get close to them? I, should, I give myself a saddle. Can I ride these guys? Oh! <gasps> <laughs> and then <laughs> I want to I I don't think that they're they're moving at my will. So I think um I think it's probably probably something that they have to do themselves. They'll they'll move over for you. Uh if they want to take you across the lava um until then you're going to have to wait. But anyway guys Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did find this useful, please do drop a like, maybe even subscribe. I'm thinking of doing another video in the future where I uh, show you different ways that you can use the different blocks and uh, looking into more of the details such as redstone and whatnot. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!